Hello, this is Daniel Swartz, and this is an exclusive tutorial for Vector Toots Plus. This is part two of my tutorial on how to use the Recolor Artwork dialog box in Adobe Illustrator. Last time we talked a little bit about how to use color and specify color, as well as how to use the Color Guide panel and the Swatches panel, so we could create custom swatches as well as custom swatch color groups so that we could store a color scheme or a set of colors that we really liked to use. Now we're going to take that and start applying it to recoloring artwork. So first off I'm going to select these flowers and you can see the flowers have two colors. There's a gray stroke and a gray interior and then the individual petals themselves are red. Now if you select any kind of object or path that only has one color in it it's not an option to recolor the artwork. It only works if you have two or more colors. But since we do have two colors here, up in our control panel appears the recolor artwork button, which looks like a little color wheel. And you can click on that, and up comes the dialog box. You can see these are the current colors that are selected, and they match our selections over here. You can also see color groups, which are the same color groups which we created or loaded in in our swatches panel and there's some awesome colors that hopefully we'll use later. Additionally, if you click on Edit, there is the color picker circle. And each little circle in here shows a different color out here. So this is the gray, and this is the red. Moving the circles here allows you to change individual colors in a scheme, but you're only changing them on the hue or on their saturation. So where they're at on the spectrum or how intense that color is. Uh, to change brightness and value, you need to use a little slider down here. But let's go back to a sign. Maybe the simplest way to uh, recolor artwork is to knock a colored uh, job with several colors down to less colors. So for instance, we have two colors here. Maybe we want to make a one color print out of it. If we click on one, it's going to automatically combine these two colors into this color. Now this is allowing for tints, and so this is a 50% tint of the purest red, which is the top bar, and then the red on the interior stays at 100%. So that's an easy way to look at it. Let's make it a little more complicated and add some more colors in. So by selecting the colors for the flowers and for the vase, I'm going to go back up to recolor artwork, and here we go. And now you can see there are four colors loaded. The teal, a dark teal, uh, the gray, and the red once again. And we can knock this down to a two-color job if we want to. And you see it combines similar colors into this output color. And then the red still stays as red because these are such uh, drastically different ideas. Adobe tries to make a guess of what the best solution would be. If I don't like what it chooses, though, I can easily click and drag any of the colors down here. And now the red and the dark teal are going to be interpreted as red. And here the light teal and the gray will be the teal color at different tints. That's one of many ways you could kind of fiddle with that. Let's go back and hit cancel. The artwork you know, doesn't change if you hit cancel. You can go back up to recolor artwork. Now let's start working with our different swatch groups. Now you remember we created some of these using the color guide and this is a monochromatic and another monochromatic. But here we created some custom ones on our own and if you click down you can see there's their individual RGB values. But all what I'm going to do is select, take the selected artwork and move it over to the Awesome Colors set. And just by clicking, the artwork is automatically recolored to these three colors. And you can see this is how Illustrator is grouping them. Once again, if I don't like the order, I can switch it up or put it back. Additionally, down here, the first button is a little shuffle to symbol at the bottom. It says randomly change color order. And it's going to change where these are at. So I can start shuffling these up and you can see a variety of different solutions to using the same color scheme. As well, the second one allows you to randomly change the saturation and brightness. So just how intense the pigment is and how bright the colors are. So by clicking this, now we get the colors stay the same and the, the saturation and brightness change. We can reset it if we like to. Go back over there and click on that color group again. Now let's say it's almost where we want it to be, but not quite. If we go back over to Edit and see the color picker, you'll see a little icon down here with the 
unlink harmony colors or it'll say link if it's unclicked but if it's together these things are static in that their relationship to each other is going to stay the same if I unclick it then they're independent and you can see a dotted line also shows you that on the color picker but for instance if I take the big one here I can swing the whole thing around and you see the relationship today stays the same likewise I can shrink them in and lower the saturation or increase the saturation and they move proportionally to each other. We're going to recolor it back over here again by clicking the awesome colors. A little more easily maybe is to grab just the hue and so our saturation stays constant but we can move things around the color wheel. So maybe we can make things a little more warm or make them a little cooler if we want to make slight tweaks to how the color is being represented. Similarly we have the brightness we can adjust it down and make the whole scheme darker or we can make the whole scheme lighter. If you don't like working in HSB and that's perfectly okay there's the option drop down here just like in the color panel where you can select RGB or CMYK lab RGB if those are what you'd like to work in. Okay well I kinda like these colors so let's go back and look at something else. I don't really like the color of the table so an easy solution is just to select both the table and the little uh, cloth there. And I can select awesome colors again and it's immediately in the same color scheme. So a nice way to reuse those swatch groups that we've created. I'll lock those back down. Now this is okay, but one of the really great things about recolor is that it works against uh, swatches that contain patterns. So let's go down here and unlock the wall. I'm going to select it and click on this really, really ugly pattern back here that doesn't really fit our color scheme. Well, thank goodness we have recolor artwork because we can go back in here and there's the colors being used, a uh, teal again and this really awesome pink color. And we're going to choose awesome colors again because that's our scheme and it recolors it. But that's a little hard on the eyes so we can always switch up to any number of other color groups and maybe find something that works a little bit better. I think this may be our best hit, so I'm going to shuffle their order, change hue, and there we go. Now that's a little bit brighter, go back over to edit, make sure that they're linked. I'm going to brighten the whole thing so the vase really stands out. And I don't need to change any of my color swatch changes uh, by clicking no. The artwork remains recolored though, nothing to worry about. I'm going to go back over here and recolor that vase to darken it up. Make it these violets. There. That's pretty good. And once again, you don't need to save your changes. So there we go. So you can recolor individual pieces of artwork uh, to custom swatch groups that you may have made. You can knock down artwork to a lesser number of colors, which is a great way to simplify a composition or work for a limited budget. And you can also recolor any kind of patterns that you have in your artwork. So it's really a comprehensive way to take any kind of illustration or layout you have and give it an entirely new look very, very quickly and try lots of new iterations. Thanks a lot, and I hope you have a great time with the uh, recoloring artwork.